This bard's tale begins oh. near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. A recap? Nice. I didn't think we were going to get those, but we did. Here we are. Welcome back, guys, to The Witcher 3. Now, I did change the camera on horse. The camera is farther back. When I'm in combat, it's closer to Geralt. And when I'm just exploring, it's farther back also. Just because I noticed that I missed some stuff in the last episode, and you guys actually pointed it out too. And I really do feel like a culprit of that is the camera was a little too close to Geralt. I do like it being kind of close because it was immersive, but I feel like it farther back, I'll be able to see everything a lot better. Anyways, let's get into it. You guys dropped a lot of great comments. You were definitely helping me out in the last episode, and I truly appreciate that. So we're going to continue and see if I can use some of the knowledge that you guys gave me in this episode. Thank you guys so much for all the comments and just overwhelming support on the Witcher series um, with the trailer video and then also the first part. This game is pretty solid, man. I'm actually really intrigued and interested to continue. Um, the story is pretty good. Gameplay is really good. I think I really like the dialogue the most. Like, I feel like I can stay interested and invested in like what they're talking about. It's actually really fun. And it doesn't seem like it's like super hard to follow. If that makes sense. Where a lot of games like this, it seems like it's really hard to follow. I'm grabbing all this stuff. All right, let's talk to the herbalist about Buckthorn. Oh, Bad hello there. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets that Red Bloom, well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much. She's pretty. But I know a bit, for instance, that beggar takes poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Oh, you can't help her? That's not good. Oh, her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Eating a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Of course. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. I could try to help her? I'd love I'd to. try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But... Witcher's potions aren't for humans. Ooh. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. So she's going to die if I don't make the swallow. Or we could just chance it. Give her the swallow. See what happens. Maybe she survives. It seems like she's dead anyway. So why not try, right? I mean, that's kind of what they do at the hospital when you have like a life-threatening disease. They try to give you stuff to help you. To slow down the, um, the effects. Looking for buckthorn. Do you know where that is? Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. Whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something, something. Ah, good to know the black one's looking out for our welfare. Oh, I know. Well, they value order. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First they'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. 
Elsewise, you'd not use bait. Just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Why not now? What does she have in here? Anything interesting? Doesn't seem like it. Yes. Can I talk to her? Yes, I can. What's your story? Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. Oh, nice. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bear his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Nenica what? Nenica refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word. Gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. That's horrible. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed. Until I finally arrived here. End of story. Aw, her story's sad. Ever know a woman named Claire? Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived From the village. Here. Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the lord of the manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. I read about that. The lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing. No bloodshed. But... You saw. Word is yeah. Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Some experience points. Some crowns. Oh, she, yes. by the way, she has herbs. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. So let me see what she's got. I wanted to make bombs because I haven't used bombs yet. Blinds opponents with his explosion radius destroys monster nests. Let's try it. Inflict shrapnel damage to foes within its explosion radius. Deals a small amount of fire damage. Destroys monster nests. I have the salt. I need some calcium. Let's buy that. And then make it. Cool. Um, what else does she have here? Brewing alcohol. Regenerates vitality during and outside of combat. Limits the duration of knockdown, hypnosis, stun, and blindness. She has a lot of stuff here. Um, how do we make swallow? I think that's a potion, right? Potions. Swallow. Here it is. Dwarven spirit. Let's buy that. And then two of these. And then craft. Nice. All right, let's give that to the girl. We might as well take a chance. How do I give it to her? Can I just no? Yes. Oh, I have to take it to her. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her deeply. Works on me immediately, but I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here, a small gift for giving a damn. I hope she makes it, but I'm glad that she likes me for doing that. I mean, it was a lost cause. Either way, right? Might as well try. Come on, Roach. 
All right, let's go. Let's find this buckthorn. First oil. Run, Roach. We're getting a lot of manuscript and stuff of sweat and blood. A veil hangs between the world men see and the one they cannot. This veil blocks the dead from the view of the living and the living from the view of the dead. Some mages can break through this veil and communicate with the dead or else summon them to the world of the sun for short periods of time. This is the art known as necromancy. The dead can also break through the veil and enter the world of the living on their own. Yet unlike the necromancers, in doing so they are not driven by reason and will, but by a thoughtless, irrational need. This need arises from powerful emotions such as regret, longing, or wrath. Very often these emotions gain their power by being invested in a material object by the dead individual while he or she still knew life. The objects most frequently so endowed, wedding rings, favorite toys, or the instrument used for the crime which sent the returned individual to the other world in the first place. Night Wraith. Maybe we'll be able to use that eventually. There's a question mark up here. And some drowners. Okay, we gotta be careful. Um, Let's use Igni here. Whoa. Oh. Hit me. Or try to hit me? Where are you going? Why are they running away? Got him. Where are you going? Why? <laughs> All right, then. This is random. Hello there. I'll take your tongue. Just started running. Oh, we need to use the... Swallow potion here. Instead of the bread. I think we're done with the bread for now. Sheath your sword, please. Drowner brain. Yum. Just what I needed. What's over here? Tamarian lily key. Hidden treasure. Oh, there's something underwater. Let's grab it. Military orders. Insignia. To whom it may concern, by order of the Legion Commander, the men bearing this missive are to be escorted north to the border post near Oxenford, where they will find a Redanian division waiting for them. As noble-born Tamarians, they are under special protection and not a hair on their heads is to be harmed. Everything they carry is their own private property and is to remain in their possession. Any failure to heed this order will be punished in an accelerated military tribunal. Randall Wittgenberg. All right, we'll track that. There's a dead horse down here. Oh my goodness. That is no good. Buckthorn. That's what we needed. Cool. Is there any more down here? Is that the only one? Okay. Oh wait, there's more stuff over there. Okay, we can talk to Vesemir now. Is that more Buckthorn? Yes, it is. Looks like a chest. It is. E trees filter. What is that? All right, we're done here. We did collect that quest. Here it is, treasure hunts. Why not do it? Faster. I just love that you can explore and find more things around, you know? I 
think that's the the beauty of a game like this, honestly. Is it here? Is it in the house? Or back here? Well, I don't see anything back here. Those dogs out there? I'm just gonna grab that stuff anyway. Let's go in here. Anything in here? Nope. But there is something down here. You guys did tell me that there is a way to put the spells on the face buttons. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't wanna do that. Reason being, I love turn-based games, right? And when you go into your signs, it feels like a turn-based game. It kind of reminds me of um, like a hybrid game, kind of like uh, like Final Fantasy VII Remake, if you ever played that, where you can kind of do things on the fly, um, but it slows down time and it kind of gives you like a few seconds or minutes to actually like think about what you're going to do next. I like that. I think that's really cool. And I want to keep that for, for the most part. I'm more of a turn-based player than I am a you know, real time player. Oh, wait, look at this master item. Wyvern. The coction. I got a rune stone too. Cool. Tamarian rye. Ooh, a new saddle. And there was a document too. Anything else? No. Scribbled document. Himmy. No wonder we're losing this war. With cowardly cunts for soldiers, all it took were a few arrows and a wallop of the mace for seasoning. And that was that. Battle was over and the whole convoy was ours for the picking. Maybe they were having such a hard time of it because of all that vodka they were carrying. Our brave warriors must have taken a sip from time to time with obvious results. When you're seeing double, it's damned hard to hit your target. Take everything we gather to the cubby, then fence it quick as you can, except that showy parade shite. You'll have to bury or burn that. I reckon someone might recognize the insignia, and then there'd be trouble. Caius. Well, I have the insignia now. Oh, also, we got some stuff here. Right here. Enhanced saddle. Let's put that on Roach. Armor. Nice. Let's check it out. Ew. Ew. But it gives me some good stuff. Look at that. Plus six. Resistance to piercing damage. Resistance to bludgeoning damage. Resistance to slashing damage. Same thing with the pants. But it's hideous. Can you not transmog? I don't think there's transmog. What? I can't transmogrify. That's absurd. What RPG can you not do that? Okay. Well, I would rather wear the trousers than the other thing, to be honest. This just looks silly on him. I don't really like it. Is that bad that I don't like it? I don't like it. I really don't, guys. I'm sorry. It looks bad. I don't want it. All right, then. I like his original armor. I will literally stick with this until I find better armor. If you can transmog, let me know. But I didn't see that as an option. Oh, let me check and see before we do this mission. Is there anything? Oh, I wanted to go here. I forgot about this. Let's I saw go. it earlier. Totally forgot about it. Hmm. 
I keep thinking I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 because I can let go of the X button and the horse still keeps going. Okay, here we go. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's got to be. This is where I saw that wraith. Let's get ready. There it is. Put that down. I still have the oil, I do believe. I you like that silver. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Caught me off guard there. Nice. Is that it? Anything over here? Oh, bees nest. Okay, so here, you guys told me in the comment section of the last video, I can use Igni here. Ah. Ah, honeycomb. Let's draw some of that power. A lovely power. Oh, wait. Did I not do it? Here we go. An ability point. Cool. Let's go here. Place mutagens in the appropriate slots to gain a bonus to your character statistics. Alright, how do I get there? Oh, like that. Plus 50 vitality. I see. Well, they're both plus 50 vitality. So it doesn't really matter. Once activated, mutagens grant bonuses to your character's statistics. Both mutagens and abilities are marked with a color. Put a mutagen in a field with at least one ability of the same color to increase its bonus. Oh, that's nice. If an ability does not match the color of the mutagen in its field, it does not increase the mutagen's bonus. An increase gain from any other abilities in the same field which do match the mutagen remains. More abilities in a field that match the uh, color of that muta field's muta uh, mutagen, sorry. The greater the mutagen's bonus, each matching ability increases the bonus by 100%. Mutagens can also be used to brew powerful potions called mutagen decoctions. Gotcha. So I would need something green to go there, which is alchemy. Increases potion overdose threshold from 50% to 60%. Oil applied to blades gives a 5% chance of poisoning the target on each hit. The chance is greater the higher the level of oil used. That sounds good. Increases maximum toxicity by 0.5. If toxicity is above zero, time automatically slows when an enemy is about to perform a counterattack. Cool. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? And we get that bonus. Which is kind of nice. How do you do the thing where it auto runs? Can't really remember. Wonder if anything new is on this board. Volunteers wanted. I'm gonna take it. No, I guess not.
Go, go. All right, let's go to Vesemir then. Oh, that's cool. The little water droplets that splashed onto the screen. Good man. Whose field is that the other side of the river? By the wood. Boy in Climax. Good lad, Master Witcher. Though he... Yes, yes. This boy in. Will he venture out to inspect his grain anytime soon? What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. Why is he asking that? Is he going to steal stuff or something? What's up with all the moaning? Oh, they're drunk. That's why. <laughs> I'm actually going to switch this. There we go. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's Bro, abandoned smooth. his lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> It's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Yeah, that's everyone, right? We gotta save that money. DIY. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that Zoogle in the trash heap. You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. He's not a city boy. He's a pretty boy. There's a difference. He's gotta smell good for the ladies. Come on now, Vesemir. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room. And oh, that's why you asked. So no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Verify the Griffin by brewing the Thunderbolt potion. Where's he going? Wait, what the heck? He just like took off. You saw that? <laughs> Need the right ingredients. I know that. I am so far ahead of you here. All right, Thunderbolt. I have everything. Okay, let's go to the inventory. And then potions. We'll put it down here. Yes. Perfect. Where are you going? Dude, he's taking off. Look at him. Doesn't he have a... He has a horse. Why is he running? He's a track star. Look at this. Usain Bolt. Bro, I can still see him running. <laughs> Holy crap. He makes me look really slow. Did he just leave Come his on. horse here? Is that his horse? I don't remember what his horse looked like. Anyways, I'm just gonna go. Um, where is he? Oh, this way? Oh, I found you. A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's do it. Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Is that a Come sheep? On. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morn. 
Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes, well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Yennefer? Oh, a crossbow. Nice. A crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. Gwent? You were playing Gwent? How about that? Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Of course. All right, let's do this. I'm a little nervous. That thing is Watch big. Out. Very big. Okay. Crossbow. R1. It's about to dive. Oh, nice. Get it, get it, get it. Drink my potion. Oh, wow. Okay, move. Oh, we need to drink a potion here. Whoa, whoa, it took so much damage. That is no good. This thing is not playing, bro. Got him again. Uh, let's use Igni. It is. It hits hard, too. We might have to use Quinn here. That might be a good idea. Oils, potions, and bombs are consumed upon use and can run out. Replenish your socks of these items into the meditation panel. If you had hard alcohol in your inventory, it will automatically be used to create a new batch of every alchemy item you have. No way. So alcohol is really important in this game. Where's Roach? Come on, Roach. Okay. I got you. It's up there. Let's get off here. Let's uh switch our inventory up here real quick. Cuz we ran we ran out of potions. So we need some food. What's better, bread or water? All right, let's use the crossbow here. Didn't get hit. Got it. That was smart. I'm too old for this shit. I know you are. Quinn. We're doing pretty good so far. Quinn is saving our lives, let me tell you. Dead. Good job. 
We did it. Not bad. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. Like what? For example, upward vertical strike. It's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. He's always trying to teach, huh? Oh, here we go. Griffin trophy. Griffin's egg. We're even getting a mutagen from it. Gonna have to check that out. Ooh. Are we taking the head? Yes, sir. We did. Oh, the, the head is on Roach. Look at that. That's cool. Let's see what that mutagen's about. Plus 50 vitality. All right, we got to go to the Nilf Guardians now. This way. What is this place? Magic. A place of power. I'm a little nervous. Another wraith? Okay. We need to put an oil. Yes and yes. And I think we're good here. I love this. You always got to be well equipped. Where'd it go? It's gone. Got an ability point. Interesting. Whoa, it's down here. So it just moved. That was it. All right, uh, we got to be careful. Let me use this. got a sword hunting gauntlets hopefully those look cool letter from witcher colgrim of the viper school ivor evil eye master witcher of the viper school i have now found all the legendary diagrams once belonging to our order Certain complications have arisen, however. On the way back to our keep, I stopped to rest the night in a village in the Temerian borderlands. The blasted peasants decided to make me into their scapegoat and accused me of kidnapping some beekeeper's brat. They took me into the local lordling's castle for interrogation, during which they found and confiscated one of the diagrams. But do not fear, I will get it back. They did not find the others. I have invoked Temerian's common law and demanded a trial by ordeal instead of submitting to the whims of his baronet. My request was granted and tomorrow I am to cleanse the baronet's family crypt of wraiths. I expect this will prove little trouble. Perhaps I will already have returned to our keep by the time you receive this letter. Light the furnaces. We'll have some forging to do. Colgrim. I guess we need to look around. I'll grab all these mushrooms and stuff. Is 
Is that it? Uh, I think I got everything down here. I did get some um, swords. Let's see if any of these are better. This is a better steel sword. Let's see what the gauntlets are like. Okay. We're improving. I love to see it. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. I just drawed power from here, didn't I? Guess I don't get another ability point though. All right, let's try doing this quest. I like getting sidetracked. Get up. Um. We can use the crossbow on the horse really cool why is that kid playing in the puddle Let's go. that's very dangerous I could have ran him over with my horse that wouldn't have went over too well Oh, I figured out how to auto run. I'm doing it now. I guess as long as you stay on the path and hold X. It's up here. All right, then. A little nervous about it. Oh! Oh, that scared me. Holy crap. What the heck? Shut up and fight. Ooh. I know he just lost his head. What the heck? Oh, I can't block those. Okay. But I can dodge. Ooh, nice. What the heck? This dude came out naked. Get him. Come on. Oh, I can't block that. I know that hurt. I know that hurt a lot. I mean, maybe it didn't hurt. dogs down there. Is that the first time we killed humans? I feel like we've been fighting monsters this whole time. Location. Amavet Fortress. Persons taking part. Sir Ignatius Barrieris. Bart. The Bailiff Andreas Bloom. Sir Ignatius, underlings Carmi, Gardi, and Belzi, suspect Colgrim, Witcher of the Viper School. The Witcher Colgrim stands accused of kidnapping Vidi, son of Paul, a beekeeper residing in White Orchard. 
Suspect were, was detained pending trial. Upon detention, he was searched and a diagram for the forging of a steel sword was found on his person. It is suspected this sword was used to intimidate or possibly kill the kidnapped child. It is likewise suspected that the accused possesses other such diagrams for the forging of death dealing implements, though none have been found to date. Sir Ignatius has requested the Witcher undergo preliminary interrogation with the application of torture. That's terrible. This will take place once a torture with the proper qualifications has been found. Addendum. It was later discovered drowners were responsible for the boy's disappearance. What? Unfortunately, Colgrim died before this information reached the investigators. Wow. They killed this man before he even, they even could find the proper person that did the deed. For rather than face the baronet's judgment, he chose trial by ordeal. Sir Ignatius agreed and ordered he cleanse the Verieris family crypt of specters. Colgrim never emerged from said crypt. It is highly likely the motley race, specters, and evil powers residing therein proved too much for him. And we saw his body, right? That was his body back there. Okay, we did see that. What am I supposed to fucking die for? Tamaria? That died for that. So did my three brothers. And what did that get them? Fuck all. That's what. Not even a decent burial. Da always said a wise man learns from others. Mistakes. So here I am, learning from his. And instead of dying for Tamaria, I'm going to rob those who killed Tamaria's sons. We've pitched a camp. Got us a great spot. Middle of the woods, near that old mill. Now we're all set to go on our first raid. All right, well, that's it here. Got everything that we could get. Um, let's go this way. Be careful. There's Roach. Run, Roach. Come on, Roach, you got this. Give me a second here. Rune stones can be used to enhance your weapons. Go to the equipment tab in your inventory and select a rune stone. Uh, these things. Sign intensity. Chance to cause burning. That sounds good. I guess I'll do that. Come on. So runes go on your steel sword and your silver sword gets oils. That was so that was a stock sound of kids playing. I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't you look at me. It was so stock. Place of power should draw from it. No, we're gonna keep going. Go. Why does it keep making me go this way? Excuse me. Go past these guys. Here it is. Wait, what? No, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. I'm holding circle. Why? Here we go. Move, Roach. Wait, what? Wrong side, wrong side. 
I want to... Uh, I don't have my... Oh, I got to recharge. There's too many wolves. Okay, there we go. Let's do it. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Yes! Whoa, their guts went flying. Sometimes you got to use the environment to your own advantage. Um, there's loot. It's a lot of loot. Let's burn this. Honeycomb. Is there drowners out there? Oh, that's super cool. I didn't know you could switch potions and stuff right here. I low key need some more swallow. Nordling. I just go in. What the hell is this? Why? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a nout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! That's terrible. Treating people like slaves. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? <laughs> a moralist. Right. And what would you do in my stead? Would a moralist? Your stead. Right. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are what do you not mean? done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Oh, heck nah. Yeah, we're definitely taking that gold. I want my money. Is he getting the lashes? Where is he in here? Barbarians. Oh, he's in there. Oh, that's terrible. Please, no more. Poor guy. Are you here to spy or haggle? I'd like you to craft something for me. I just need a silver ingot and we can get this. That would be nice. You don't have any silver ingots that I can buy? Only steel ones? Well, that sucks. Maybe, just maybe. 
Could I dismantle something? Your items are shown here. Bear in mind, however, that once you confirm your selection, all of this item's upgrades will be removed. Okay. Upgrades and runestones will be destroyed upon removal. Got it. No, I want to dismantle. Okay, if I get rid of this, I get a steel ingot. Well, I'm going to get rid of these crappy swords. Might as well for the ingots. This is the Witcher's Steel Sword. Alright, we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Then we can get... This will give me silver. Dark Steel. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with those yet. I only have one right now. Do I have enough money? Oh, he probably ran out. He probably bought all of his silver. Okay. Well, hopefully we find something in the future. So long. Bye now. Discipline. That is what you let them Should I leave yet? I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's go. I'm kind of nervous to leave. Let me look at the map. Will we come back here? Maybe I should save. I'm going to save here just in case. Okay, guys. Let's keep moving on with the story, I guess. I hope I'm not moving too fast. I think I did all the quests here. For the most part. Other than the collect them all. I mean, maybe there's more places to explore. I just didn't run into any. Oh, hi there. This game is so pretty, man. I absolutely love it. The stamina is That's it, Roach. Dying. It is draining fast. Wait, really? Top dollar for honeycombs? Okay, then. Faster. I have those. Wait, there's stuff on the board there. Also, every week the villagers poor may come by to collect food rations. Rations will only be distributed to supplicants able to document proof of their prop poverty. Looking to borrow a plow.
Hey, if she's really paying top dollar for honeycomb, I am here. Here she is. Let's go there. Give her this honey honeycomb. Cause I got a good amount of honeycomb already. She said top dollar. That means she means business. Yes. Got any herbs you're willing? I'm sure I can find. Girl, I got the honeycomb. You got the money. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's under food and drink. 63? For all of those? That's pretty good. I'll take it. Farewell. She said top dollar. I have three points now. That unlocks at level four. I think the next thing I want to improve is maybe one of my signs here. I feel like Quinn would be really good, especially later on. Like I'm already using it now. I feel like if we keep fighting big monsters, like that's going to come in handy. We might want to upgrade that fully at the least, right? We also have general here, which is just like passive stuff. Oh, that's wild. Then obviously we have melee. Okay. Just trying to understand everything here. Let's leave. This cat doesn't like me either. I have cat's eyes though. Something else you'll be needing. Got anything it depends what you're off. I want some of these Gwent cards. Decoy. Swap with a card on the battlefield to return it to your hand. Let's get this. Clear any weather effects. That could be good too. Oh no, I like Gwent. Farewell. Oh wait, I can talk to her about Nilf Guardians. Nilf Guardian rule to your liking. What's there to like? It is the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that, but they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it round half a year back, when King Foltes was cut down. Now, now I just want peace. That's understandable. Farewell. Gwent deck. Catapult. Hey. Hmm. 
Mmm. Okay, and then the drums coming in. That's fire. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Uh oh. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? Not good. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. No shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister to the no. birth, and you don't hey, fear oh. God's wrath. You don't uh. fear it, you cunt. Uh. Oh. Uh. Leave that lady alone. Oh my God, leave that lady alone. Uh-oh. Looks like we're getting into this. Recognize this medallion. You know what it means. Back off. You all right? Oh my God! Broke her nose. Steal youngins. That's true. What the emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Ah, oh, we gotta fight him. And neither are you. Get they the steel sword out. Now. I can see that. Man, this sucks. We are going to be tearing up this tavern, let me tell you. Ow. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! Oh, man, she's frightened. She doesn't like us at all. God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <sighs> they all hate us now. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That was terrible. Uh oh. That brawl, we didn't start it. Wait, is that her? Jennifer? Oh, it is. She came to us. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Those thighs, though. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Right. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. 
In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. What did he offer you? Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for. And even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I love her eyes. Are they purple? I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. Aw, we're parting ways. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. I'm gonna miss you, Vesemir. I thought this was a dream. came in clutch. Jennifer, how they shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. All right, we're in Vizima now. Oh my dear lord. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Katwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Why? I like the beard. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. 
Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown, parents unknown, age unknown, all insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one, Arya. I spared his life, he escaped. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Is that Witcher 2? What suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes and- A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there, and once again meddled in the affairs of the Mighty. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansoville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. <laughs> um, with these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. I guess when I chose that option in the beginning of the game, it had... Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. 
Relax giving me a moment like that, I guess. Prepared the gentleman a frock, a tail coat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. These ones? Where's my clothes? Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Can I talk to him? This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman <laughs> will kindly dress. That's a good point. I don't like the one in the middle. The one on the left is alright. I think this one's more fitting. This might come as news to the gentleman. That looks nice. Around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? I guess. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. I think it was this one, right? Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Ha! <laughs> Come with me. Yeah, whatever. This guy is so mean. The gentleman will address the emperor only when asked to and using the appropriate type. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. Yes. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. So formal. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Valian namen, wat kan favort? I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. What? And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. That's your daughter? You find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war? To discuss a rumor. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. 
I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Okay, so that's Siri's real dad. Where is her mother, though? Yes, Follow me, is... if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. Not too shabby. I like this place. And it's past noon. Calm yourself. This Greetings. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard II, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like some supplicant, but with who for company? A tinter. Tanner. Master of the Tanner's Guild? As if it makes a damn difference. I demand... Calm down. The Emperor demands oh, silence. Bad gun. Bad Those gun. who disturb face harsh punishment, no matter their birth. Greetings. Nice, Ted Artu. Have you ever seen us for another bit? Yeah, a name. Rad Sleeton, eh, eh, nicht, es tun, es is sour on name fire. Es is seed Epsat, Ep Finzer name Mathenk, name Kof Hotel on Emp Paval. Es frag, kes seed. Duf, vise for Atra es Paese. Ted de Tagge in the Kaland name, se for Lois Sau. Ep Toussaint? Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Still worth trying. Because? Because there are few causes worth serving, even fewer men. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm-hmm. Some werebubs. <laughs> werebubs. See ya. Soon, mind you. In a hurry to see the sorceress? Ah, really? It's for death. Evelyn, cut the earth. Tre glidevin. Es wat garn. Es ma estregen epfoltast in karne. Kein vios. E vios kein es in bail. Es a sant. Es va nodling. A lied. Forgive us, sir. We are occupied. The gentleman will have time for a stroll later. Please stay with me. Do not bother me. What the heck are they doing right there? Squares. Okay. Alright, he's gonna keep yelling at me. Forgive us, sir. We are occupied. Is the gentleman not in a hurry to see the sorceress? I just wanna to listen to people's conversations. Sorry, I'm eavesdropping. Is it true? Northern women bathe but once every three days. 
große Plänken erknurrt machte. Ein Selfie, the den ich sicher hatte. Kasper kennt die Welle, der... We've no need for the gentleman's escort. Did I not We've no request? need for the gentleman's escort. Is the gentleman not in a hurry to see the sorceress? Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. In triplicate. Be so kind and do not disturb. A shame I have no time. This place looks awesome. Imagine living here. I'm scared to loot though. I feel like I would, I'm going to get in trouble. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend mm. to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Uh-huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young Aww. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. <laughs> but let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it. Perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Mm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the wild hunt does. The Wild Hunt. What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. <laughs> I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. Oh, her as blood. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Oh. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skelliger. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? 
Didn't need me, didn't even want to see me. I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Oh. Man, I'd lost my memory. Really? I wonder if she's jealous. That's your excuse? Let's mm. drop this, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Messed up, Carol. What's going on? Messed up. I need to see what Triss looks I guess like, this though. This means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen? Get you there at once. Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way. Oh, and. You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Ooh. I should be waiting. I'm ready. Girl, I am so ready. Yes. Oh my goodness. My lord, my lord. All right. Who? Oh, that's what Triss looks like? Redhead. Uh oh. I always consider it a point of particular pride to count Triss Marigold of Marabor among my closest and dearest friends. This exceptionally talented sorceress was a shining star of her profession, the former mage advisor to King Oltist, and a famous hero of the Battle of Sodden, known as the 14th of the Hill. Yet in no way did she resemble her often unbearably haughty sisters in magic, her deft mind, warm smile, and considerable personal charm had always won over even the hardest of hearts. Though my personal relations with Triss never ventured beyond the fraternal, Geralt of Rivia at one point found her allure irresistible. From then on, the two shared feelings that ran far deeper than a superficial and fleeting fancy. Yennefer told Geralt that Triss had recently taken up residence in the free city of Novigrad. Morvren, commander of the Alba Division, an officer of the highest rank and a pure-blooded aristocrat, one who with pride could call himself a Nilf Guardian, a designation reserved only for native-born inhabitants of the Empire's capital and its immediate surroundings. At the time of their first meeting, Geralt had no idea what an important person had been assigned the task of asking him a few routine questions. Knowing the Witcher, however, knowledge of Morvin's rank and status would not have made much of a difference. Hendrik, considering the way spy corps of all stripes tend to function, Hendrik was undoubtedly not this man's real name. Nevertheless, that was the only appellation the Witcher knew for his Imperial Majesty's nose to the ground in Velen. After asking around, Geralt learned a Hendrik lived in the village of Heatherton. Few names in the continent's history arouse as much terror and respect as that of Amir. I can't say his whole name. The white flame dancing on the graves of his foes, Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina. Ebing and Gamera, sovereign of Nazar and Ikovaro. He was the ruler of half the civilized world and aspiring conqueror of the other half. He was a personage whose deeds and decisions shaped the fates of whole kingdoms and populations. What then could he possibly want of a simple witcher? The emperor clearly in ooh, succinctly laid out what he wanted he his daughter in Geralt's ward Cirilla was in great danger for the wild hunt was on her trail Geralt a superb tracker linked to Amir's daughter by the iron bonds of destiny stood a better chance of finding her than anyone else in the world sweet you see whoa whoa holy god did you guys just see that she like Tore her room apart as she did that. What is this? Jennifer, my dear friend, thank you for your letter. Forgive me for not answering your earlier attempt to reach me via Megascope. 
I'm trying to limit my magic communication to the absolute minimum. One never knows who's listening, don't you agree? I'm delighted you have found a position at our gracious emperor's court and wish you the best of luck in the search for his daughter. It's good to know that Amir's intentions for have become more, how shall I put it, mundane. Perhaps in these circumstan uh, circumstances, an agreement regarding the lodge will prove possible after all. In response to your first question, I can state beyond all doubt that Siri has not appeared anywhere south of the Yaruga. Believe me, I could recognize her magic signature in my sleep. I have not had any contact with Triss for a long time. I only know that things in Novigrad have taken an ill turn. She mentioned something earlier about fleeing to Kavir, but I am afraid that in the current political climate that amounts to an impossible daydream. I hope I will soon be able to join you in Vizima. First, however, I must take care of some unfortunate yet urgent matters in Eau Claire. With my fondest regards, Frangilla Vigo. I had a feeling we wouldn't have any chance to talk before Vizima, so I leave you this message. It's with them. When you exit the throne room, simply follow the covered walkway in the courtyard, turning right at the corner. I'll take the first door on your left. You'll be inside a chamber with a fireplace. Take the door in the back right to the adjoining room. There under the window, you'll find the chest with your gift. But in case these directions prove too complicated for you, I'm certain the Chamberlain would not hesitate to lead you there himself. Expert tracker that you are. However, I expect you'll manage. Ooh. Okay. Scars That's nice. Nicely. Apple juice. Yum. Ambassador Varatra, Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. A loss? Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. This attack took no way by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one. Oh, powerful. that was a good move by them. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning That's to the good. war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then. Emperor Amir Va Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. That's scary. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey. And now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. 
famine grips the populace. Mm-hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. The Bloody Baron. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. They do. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Ah. That's no good. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. That's good. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. <laughs> what if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. You never know. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Ah! <laughs> the way he screamed. I take this? Oh, I found her chest. What the heck? My dear friend, if you're reading this, it means you found the chest I mentioned in my previous letter. You'll be pleased to know it con its contents belong to you. After I spoke with the Emperor regarding additional resources to aid in your quest, he was willing to part with these items from his personal collection. Although he was stubbornly cryptic regarding their origins, he did mention they were diplomatic gifts from distant kingdoms. The tiger armor is specifically designed to suit a Western ruler, obviously a mirror in this case. It was forged in the ancient style of a blacksmith who stole the secrets of its construction from their gods, or so the legend goes. The swords, to my eye, resemble a Redanian saber, though I'm no expert. These blades supposedly once belonged to a hero of myth and mystery. The man forced a pact with a vixen spirit and, through her blessing, was granted the ability to slay the monsters that had long plagued his village. As you'll notice, he carried both the steel and silver sword, a fact I thought might pique your interest. Unfortunately, legends are all I can offer. As I said, Amir was stingy with the details, even more so than usual. It's a shame because I must admit I haven't had the faintest idea where they might originate. That being said, I do believe Zarkania and Ophir can safely be ruled out. Hmm. Dear friend, I trust you will appreciate my efforts to help. Use these gifts as you see fit. Hope they will hasten your search for that which we have lost. Dear friend, Yennefer. I wonder if that's a person that we know. Well, I'm glad I found what she wanted me to find. I was kind of nervous. I was going to have to look around for it. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Mm -hmm. 
He Citrus sniffed and it. Cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, there's an exclamation point. Gwent, play me. I don't know. How about seven? Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. All right, I'm going to go with this one. Let's start, guys. They're going first. So that's the strength of all close combat cards to one for both players. I like these. I'm going to get rid of this. And... This. Oh, he's got a spy over here. Interesting. What is this? This is a clear weather card, but what are these other ones that I got? That's the strength of all siege combat cards to have one for both players. I'm going to use this. Let's do that. Morale boost. Oh, he can look at my cards. Don't I have one for range? Isn't that what this is? Let's try it. Hmm. He dropped a 10. I'm going to drop one more. And then I'm going to pass. I'm going to take the L. He passed. I'm going to do the same. All right, let's see. This is their turn. They already have a 10 card. Whoa. Brought something from the dead? All right, this guy's deck might be crazy. But let's see what we have here. He might have won, to be honest. That might be it. Yeah, he could just go all out and kill me here. I'm done. I lost. There's nothing I can do. He's got 10 cards. I don't have that at all. I kind of just lose, to be honest. Yeah, he's definitely got me beat. There's nothing I can do. 
This deck must be crazy. His deck must be wild crazy because I don't have 10 cards yet. And he had a couple of them. A couple. Oh, hi. Hmm? Wants me to go to Velen. Guess I'm fast traveling here. Were reunited, but something even more important happened in Bezima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. I got owned in that game of Gwent. I can't believe that happened. Northern Tamaria. This is five days later. Jeez. That's a lot of bodies. Not good. That's pretty gross. Thank you for Oh uh, yeah, the Hearts of Stone expansion. We only recommend starting it if your character level is at least 30. Have fun and good luck on the path. But then we can't do that yet. Seek them out and see for yourself. Okay. Oh, that just opened up too. Hold on, I'm getting all kinds of quests here. All right, it tells you the suggested level, which is good. I don't want to do that. All right, let's do this. Run, Roach. There are enemies over here? Wild dogs. Um. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Got him. Come on. Good job. the raw meat right there. I got apple juice. Guess that'll have to do for a while. Move it. Step away. Whoa there, Roach. Can't you see? Do not cast him out, Broderick. All may draw from the well of the eternal fire's grace. Approach, Witcher. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. 
this is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. <laughs> All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. I don't want to loot his thing. Probably get mad at me. I guess we'll go do this real quick. Wait, it looks like there was one that's kind of close over here. going why are you running away from me you don't want to fight ouch I hate it when that happens whoa Good stuff. All right, what's over here? Monster Eye. I don't want to mess with whatever that is. Now for a shot of Igni. All right, let's step back. Whatever's over there sounds big, man. I don't really want to mess with it. Dwarven spirit's nice to have. It sounds big. Should we go over there and see what it is? Oh, it's a bear. Hi there, bear. Whoa, that's a big bear. Whoa, that's a big boy. That is the biggest boy I've ever seen. Holy. He mad. Whoa. Can I fight this bear? Like, am I prepared for this kind of a fight? We're about to find out. Quinn just saved my life. All right. Whoa. Quinn again. Uh, it didn't take that much damage when it attacked me. But I still don't want to take any hits from it. Bro, I'm going to kill this bear. This is for me. It's become a, a personal thing.
Gotta be careful. Maybe we can hit it with Igni. Switch it up to Quinn. He's burning. I know he's feeling that. That hurt. No, sir. Got him. <laughs> All right. That took a lot, but we killed the bear. Let's read about bears real quick. Bears. Quinn. Okay. And beast oil. I know what bears are. All right. Nothing crazy. Get up. Take it easy. She's mourning. That's sad. Get up. God, all these bodies being hung. This is terrible. Wait, is there like lore behind each of these people? Like what happened to them? These individuals have been sentenced to death by hanging for the crimes of theft, armed robbery, and rape. Ooh. May their rotting carcasses serve as warnings to others who contemplate trespassing the Nilfgaardian Empire's laws. I mean, if that's true, then... Yikes. Maybe they deserve to be up there. Wait, for these? Where are ghouls at? Here they are. Necrophage oil. We could also use a bomb here. We haven't used those yet. Oop. Wrong button. How? Oh, here we go. That's how you use them. Is that it? Go, go. 
let me... Let's put water there for now. I need some swallow. going on here whoa if it ain't that fucking priest it's corpse eaters i'm done with this damn town a priest we'd agreed to meet as usual just a larger delivery good customer i thought then they whipped out blades the priest of the eternal fire we still talking about a priest of the eternal fire I'd say so. Beat state pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect, but the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shut me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. Yikes. Witcher, meaning you. So what now? Nothing didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. Yeah, we're gonna let him go. Although... There's some dogs. Good job. We helped him. Now for a shot of Igni. Wait, what? Why? Because he's around? My best. There we go. He's just like in the way. Let me grab this. I like getting all the plants in the area. All right, let's go back to him now. Sky, it's so beautiful. What's happening over here? Get off the horse! I always have a problem getting off the horse for some reason. Uh. I don't know what the heck these things are. They're so s small. Whoa. That one's attacking a lot. Oh, they're starting to run away. Neckers. What the heck? Let me see. Take heed, gents. There's Neckers under this here bridge. If you all cross at once without slowing or stopping, there's nothing to fear. But if your cart throws an axle and you get stuck out there, We'll close your eyes and pray to Militel. A lone necker is harmless. Five are dangerous. 
10 can kill even a veteran monster slayer. Particularly troublesome are the larger, stronger individuals known as warriors, as well as the rare breed of Neckers known as Ukas. Do I have this? This oil? Nah. Oh, there they are. There's a lot of these little guys, huh? Wait, was that the... Oh, it's the warrior. It's the Fucus. Where are you going? Oh. Okay, you're moving, huh? Big bo oh, wait, what? Got him. All right, we killed them all. That wasn't bad. Monster saliva. Alright, what's this over here, though? A cave? This guy's dead. Does this say loot? A lantern. Maybe I should save before I go down here. Just to be safe. Wait, what? I hear something. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't know if I just want to be down here. The music's kind of creepy. Can't even really see down here that good. Oh, I guess it's better. There's some light over here. Show me what you got. Oh, there's some neckers. Some warriors. But oh, we got the whole family here. Okay, this music's hitting though. Kill the warrior. Okay, he's dead. One of them burrowed. I think he's waiting for me. The warriors are dead, so. How long are you gonna make me wait? Can't burn him when he's under there like that. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Got him. God, that was so many of them. Let's 
Let's just take whatever they got down here. Get the heck out of here. Oh, okay. What's this over here cooking? Didn't mean to do that. I slipped. Looks like I'm getting a sword here. Cool. Let me see what that sword is. Pretty good steel sword. Armor piercing. That could be good. Let's do the armor piercing. Nothing over here. Nothing over here either. Looks like we looted this place pretty well. We should get out. Let's grab that. All right, let's um. Maybe change the food here. Roasted chicken. Yum. I need to go save things or sell things. Sorry. I need to sell some stuff. Come on, Roach. All right. Well, that was a fun little thing to kind of like go off track and do. Oh, bandits. Okay. Come on then. I'm about to burn your horse. Ooh, nice. All right, what about you over here? Dummy? Get off that horse. I'll take it. More bandits? Y'all really want to fight me? Saw what I just did to your friends over there. They don't even have any good loot. What's going on out here? Spare me. Big key. We're not doing anything. Oh, there's people out here dying though. like so aggroed on the civilian he doesn't even want to fight me look at that he's just chilling like a witcher am i right what do you need need for my men to finish their work unharmed but we got corpse seekers coming out all the while rid us of them and we'll give you a share sure deal i kind of just did that for you guys but okay no 
Oh, here they come. Back, get back. Take these guys out. I can hear them getting torn up in the back. Okay, go over there, go over there, go over there. Oh, that guy died. Oh, quest failed. Everyone died. Oh, no. Well, I didn't think that was going to happen. They didn't die earlier. Oops. Oh, I'm carrying too much stuff. Oops. Well, I should probably throw something on the ground. Dude, I just, I ruined that quest, guys. I'm sorry. I need to be level 11 to put that on. I need to go somewhere in like... So what did it want me to do? Just like go around and like... Let's go! Like literally smack all of the ghouls because like they were pretty much aggroed on the enemies or on the civilians and it was just like kind of a little bit chaotic but all right i took a big l there looting all the things that i could find was not a good idea in the long run i hope i can upgrade how much stuff i can hold in the near Come future. <laughs> Not so fast, Roach. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. I don't even know that guy very well. I'll take it. Deal. Take this and get out of my sight. Funeral pyres. We're done with that quest. At least we didn't fail it. What's this one over here? Passes in the Novigrad. Won't find them cheaper anywhere else. Interest you in a pass. Cheapest around. Right here. What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through without a pass. But you're in luck. 
So happens I've got a few to sell. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. What am I to do if you can't afford it? 100. No deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Might have a little work for you. Reduce the price for a job well done, eh? Okay. What kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads tidy up battlefields. Problem is, there's always swarms of shite bothering them. You know, in monsters drawn to corpses. Give them some protection. <laughs> oh my god. One those people that died? Discount. Talk about those people? Oh man. I actually ran into your brother in law. Tended to the monsters too, but he. Uh, was killed. What? You pulling me leg? Forget my offer. It's off the table, you git. Crap. On your way. Go on now. You're scaring me other patrons off. Well, that's <laughs> <laughs> Can't get that pass. <laughs> I can't get that pass, guys. Big. All right, well. We're getting no pass from that guy. Well, with that being said, I think I learned a great lesson today is that when you fail one quest, it could also make you fail another quest. <laughs> like failing quests do have consequences. It's not just like, oh, you failed that quest. Oops. Like <laughs> that's all that happens. No, it's like, oh, you found this quest. Oh, well, you could have made this next quest easier for yourself, but since you didn't complete that quest, well, you kind of screwed yourself over in the long run. And that was my bad. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have another chance to get a pass or what, but that kind of sucked. But I had a lot of fun with this. I do like how my actions and choices have consequences. I love that in games. Um, I like it in this game a lot more than like Red Dead Redemption 2, where Red Dead is just kind of like a, a good versus evil thing. So like you have a bar and it like, depending on your choices, you're either doing good things or you're doing bad things. In this game, it's like, no, it's deeper than that. There is no good and bad. It's just, you know, however your story unfolds, whatever that may be. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have any tips, tricks, advice down in the comment section, please hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Hope will never die. Órale.